The, the next part in the journey of the discovery of the electron, the discovery of its charge and its mass, was done in the United States in the Millikan oil drop experiment. And the experiment works like this. He had a spray bottle filled with oil. And when you spray it, you make little droplets of oil. And he's shown on those droplets of oil x-rays. And x-rays are very destructive, and they charge up the oil droplets. So now he has charged oil droplets. And then he put beneath those droplets a pair of metal plates charged with plus charges and minus charges. The oil droplets have mass, they feel gravity, they start falling. And um, uh, they are charged with uh, negatively, char it turns out they're negatively charged and uh, uh, they therefore feel uh, a, an attraction to the plus plate, they feel an electrostatic force. And then what he did was, Millikan did was he adjusted it so that the oil drops stopped moving. So the sum of forces, F is the sum is mass times acceleration. If they've stopped moving, uh, it means that the, the acceleration is zero. And that means the sum of forces is zero. And the sum of the forces is the gravitational force plus the electrostatic force and the gravitational force is uh, m times g and the electric static force is in the opposite direction so that's going to be a minus sign q of the electron times the electric field and so, and that's equal to zero. And so he knows that mg is equal to q of the electron times e. And it, he actually did a very clever thing about friction, but we'll just make our lives easy. We'll, uh, we'll put a microscope on our device. So a microscope. And so we can see the oil droplets. We can measure their radius. 4 thirds pi r cubed is the volume of the oil droplets. Density, which is the letter rho, not p, times the volume of the oil is the mass. And the density of oil is known. And so uh, this is the situation. Uh, he knew the density. Oops, there's a V missing. He knew the volume of the oil, uh, density and the volume of the oil. He therefore knew the mass of the oil droplets. They, of course, knew the gravitational constant of the Earth, and they, had, they knew their electric field. And therefore, he was able to determine the charge of the electron. And the charge of the electron is 96,000 coulombs. Remember that we count little particles not by the dozen, but by the mole. 96,000 coulombs per mole. And remember that the Thompson experiment got us Q over M. He discovered the mass of the electron was 1 over 1,800 grams per mole. The electron turns out to be very light because moles typically of atoms typically weigh grams, but also extraordinarily massively charged. 96,000 coulombs per mole is huge.